I'm Adeline Thomas, and this is Ashley's Percussion. Watch this. Stop, you're gonna get that? They're gonna put that in the show. I the 2023 Fisher's Indoor Percussion Season is, I think it's going very well. I encourage you to remember that this is an individual sport. Right, this is this is a one-on-one -on -one game between you and your show. There's no there's no defense or offense. At the start of the season, we definitely took it slower than we have in the past. We focused more on fundamental type stuff instead of jumping straight into the show. We had some new marchers and the battery as well as the symbols, so we really wanted to make sure that everyone had a good basis of understanding before getting into kind of the crazy stuff. Five, six. Learning the first movement is definitely the most difficult part. It kind of takes a second to kind of catch momentum, if that makes sense, because it's a brand new show. It's a, like, we're not really sure what it's supposed to be yet. We have an idea, but it hasn't been completely developed. This is the slow part of the season, where everything, all the rehearsals are kind of just slow and hasn't really bumped up yet. We're learning everything right now, uh, and then eventually, once we have all the basics down, then we can add all the sprinkles of the fun stuff. Make sure if, if you're air drumming, make sure that you're air drumming the part. Okay, and, that, and that seems like a really obvious thing to say, but if you're just doing this, all I'm doing is putting tension in my arms and creating horrible habits that I'll then have to break on the drums. We haven't really felt the energy of a crowd yet, so we don't really know how they're gonna react to things or what looks good and what doesn't look good. There was a lot of uh, rehearsals where we would be learning practice drill or we would be learning exercises that weren't necessarily exactly what we were gonna do in the show, uh, but they were beneficial for helping us learn how to learn. It was nice to see how much people we had in the beginning because last year wasn't really like a lot of people. There were a lot of missing spots um, with keyboards, but I feel like we were going back into marching band season at the beginning because we are constantly doing the same exercises. Lots of people that didn't know the exercises, we had to like keep like doing over and over and over again. Yeah, so I played this. Most of you went, I want. We didn't have music or drills, so we were focused on basics and getting the new people caught up so when we did have the show, we could just jump right in. Think more about every, every specific checkpoint. So like this one, I know it's a really fast turn and we have to think about a lot of other things, but put as much energy as you need to into this turn to get around and then B front for four counts, digga 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 da, and then turn after that. Trying to figure out who's going to go where, how we can help everyone. Relearning things is often pretty boring after the marching man season and the veterans have already learned everything. But for a lot of newbies, it's an opportunity to go and try something different than what they played during marching man, which is very good in rounding out one's skill. Let yourself get better at these things, which involves forgiving yourself early if you make a mistake, Long rehearsal hours can get tough at times. Everyone gets tired. Being in the battery in the winter is a lot more physically taxing than in the fall. You're in a sit-up position halfway, right? And then you twist from here so that there's always that strain on these abs. A good chunk of rehearsal we spend working out to make sure we have the endurance and have the strength to be able to get through a show. Don't dip through direction changes, right? Grow, grow, lift. Lift to one. The fun times are when everything starts to come together, once it becomes less like individual sets and an actual show or an actual movement of the show. Once it feels natural is when it's, it starts to be really, really fun. The big one for me was we, we started, we came forward, we're working our way backward to the left, and it felt like the whole group waited to the last eight to go, oh, I'm way off, and then adjust. The rehearsal hours are definitely a challenge, especially mixed with academic stuff. Like you have a lot to balance, but we get so used to that. Like I've had about six seasons already, so I know what it's like. I've 
gotten used to it. I know what works for me. I know how to get things done. But the freshmen and the younger kids, it's still pretty overwhelming for them and they don't really know how to handle it. I would maybe recommend for the next couple sets using multiple boxes on your page to be able to have like the prop and you and know where everything is. Uh, everybody should know where the props are. Saturday rehearsals can be a little crazy sometimes. We're moving from room to room just because we're sharing a space with like our color guard and the show choir and like we're trying to get the gym from the basketball players to get in there and make sure things sound right. One, two, three, five, six, seven, nine, eleven, third, four, five, six, seven. My name is Brett Quay. This is Fisher's Percussion. He has the headset on. He has the headset on. No. <laughs> can you hear us? Yes. You can? You can? You can? Or you can I both? Can. Oh, you can. Bennett cannot. Oh. oh. Hi, Bennett. Hi, Bennett. Concert World is pretty much just a, show, a showcase of all the crazy stuff that we can do um, or that we're learning to do. Concert World just feels more relaxed. It's more of a relaxed environment. I have a larger responsibility in Concert World, um, being in the center with an articulate sound. We both play male instruments uh, in Concert World, so we try to diversify what we play. Um, I play on the marimba line, Bert plays xylophone. Our concert group performs before movement for almost every show, which makes it a little bit easier once it gets to movement because I've kind of gotten those performance nerves out in concert world, which I know will will be fine. We'll make it like it'll be great. So when you put it together, it should sound like all marimbas. One, two, then you. One is a Kohler is certainly a world-class educator and you don't see that more in any place than you do in concert world because this is his his love good 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 good, good. yeah those splits were really a thousand percent better from you guys back there the 2023 show is based on a piece by Cliff Walker called All Hearts and Minds Be Clear. Uh, it is a piece that he originally wrote for the Texas Christian University Percussion Ensemble for PASIC, which I just readapted for this ensemble. And I also filled in a lot of um, the show and a lot of the pacing with my own reinterpretation. So at its core, the piece is very uh, scatterbrained, I guess, to start. Um, a lot of it just introduces different musical ideas that jump back and forth between virtuosic and calm and level-headed and thoughtful. So it's really about jumping back and forth between these two extremes of the, the capabilities of this ensemble. And really that's sort of the whole point of this activity. You have to find the extremes that aren't possible in a movement group. That's what makes concert groups special. Something I explored a lot more in this show compared to last concert shows are splits, which maybe goes without saying, one person plays a note, another plays a note, and they just alternate really, really fast. Uh, so the opening sequence where they're playing on those metal pipes and then they play on the marimba with the shafts of the mallets, um, those students were splitting the entire time. And uh, also in the second movement, in the big sextet drummy feature stuff. Being in two ensembles is especially difficult because you have to learn twice as much music and in the concert world group some of the music we play there is drum core level. It's really difficult to learn but it's really rewarding.
really good transitions over there. Make sure that when we do transition, we don't lose any space and time going from a block to a wood, to a dinda, to a metal, to anything else. So, right, none of that. One, two, keep it. It's a kind of a wake up call every time that I'm in, in the presence of this great ensemble and he's leading it and taking charge of everything. And I'm like, wow. Okay, so this is it. This is this is what I need to be learning from and need to be doing. And that's gonna be so cool. Yeah, yeah. That's only once that you mess it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that what happened? All right. Prove it. One, two, three is a four is a. Okay, just close. 82.5. One, two, three, now it's in their head. There it is, good job. Same. Same. Set. My name is Reza. 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 It has been very tiring, but I feel like we've made more progress this year, quick, more faster than we have in past years, and I feel like we're getting a lot done in a much shorter time. So I feel like we all have a good drive. Most people who do cymbals come from the wind world. Like me, I play mellophone. There's like three flutes in our section, and none of them have even touched any sort of percussion instrument before, let alone having to learn a bunch of flips and exercises and stuff that you've never done with your body before. It's one of those things where it's like, I can't do it, I can't do it, but you gotta be like, no, I have to practice, I have to try, because if you don't try, then you're not gonna be able to do it anyway. Ever say sound? Sound. Okay, there's a lot of visual responsibilities thing, a lot of words, a lot of craziness. Can we just focus on our sound this time? Just listen to each other. Same. Same. Set. Just. Am I centered on this prop? Mm. I don't know, I can't tell. Once you learn something that you're having a hard time at, you have fun doing it. You know, I was having trouble with, like, especially vibes where you have to do a lot of, like, chord stuff. Um, but um, I'm, feel I'm feeling really good about it right now. We are working the transition from one to two. Moving one to moving two. If I'm here, like I've gotta be like, know where I'm at on the floor, and I've gotta be further this way as I go out on the floor, right? Yeah. And then if you go in, then you need to kind of move in this way, otherwise your base will be sticking out again. So it's gotta be like a shadow. Ah, see what I did there, shadow. With this giant bass drum, I have to hide behind this tiny prop and watch out for whatever is on the gym floor. I don't know what that is. I'm really not a percussionist, but um, I did get wrapped into this. Uh, we finished up marching band, and I was like, man. Of, of course, I was I was, I was incredibly happy with how the, the season turned out, going to finals my senior year. Like, it was perfect. It's like a Disney Channel movie ending. I was like, oh, awesome, we did it. Awesome, cool. And then I realized how much free time I had, and uh, yeah, I was like, I, I got nothing better to do, except I did have better things to do. That was the one issue, that I did have better things to do. I'm not doing it right. The dud? What dud? What are you talking about? Is someone supposed to be dudding? I hope it's not me. It's always a little rocky at the beginning, especially with the wind players having to learn a new marching technique than they use in the fall. But, I mean, they've all picked it up really well. Our bass tech, Nand, he keeps telling us every time we screw up, every single time, he's like, you guys are thinking too much. He's like, you just, need to, you just need to empty your head. And I was like, oh man, is there anything that I can do better than emptying my head? And it's great. Every time, every time he reminds me to empty my head, 
I feel like I've marched base five for 20 years, so it's great. Hydration is very important. Because <laughs> if you're thirsty the whole time, then your mouth is dry, then you can't count. My water bottle is ginormous. 64 ounce from Bubba. There it is. First time with the props and uniforms and really synthesizing it all together. The kids are really rising to the occasion. I mean, we haven't done this without the click or the metronome, so this is the first time. So it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be incredible by the end of the season. Going to WGI Championships this year, I think, is something that's really pushing us because in the past, our end goal has been IPA State Finals. But this year, we know that after spring break and after a couple weeks off, we get to go back and perform again. So I've been in this ensemble for four years and this is the first year where I've had the opportunity to perform at WJ World Championships and I'm very excited because it is my senior year and I'm like, I'm grateful that I have this opportunity finally before I graduate. The energy at Dayton for uh, finals week is that all eyes are on you. So no matter if you're performing your concert show in UD Arena or your movement show or you're outside in the lot, um, there's always going to be eyes on you, there's always going to be video cameras on you. So. Not that it's a pressure thing, but there's always an expectation to live up to. I think there's a lot more motivation because we're going to world championships with the indoor group. Dayton is cool because it's the thing that everyone dreams about going to. I've been there and I visited as a spectator and I just, I think we're all really excited to be participants this year. I really want to take advantage of this time to make sure that that last performance is the best one that we can put out. The sextets are, they're a lot. They're, they were overwhelming at first. I think as we've gotten more comfortable with the parts and as we started to find our sound as a group, it's gotten a lot better. It's been a really cool experience just because it's something I've never done. I'm in the battery in Drumline and then I'm on Vibe for Concert World and then that type of aux stuff is completely new to me. It was definitely rough at the beginning trying to learn it all because there's a lot of syncopated stuff. It, it was all just very weird. So we took all these instruments from the percussion room, a couple of gongs, uh, some random scrap metal, some wood blocks, a cymbal. We put them all together in a sextet or a split setup, right? We have three of them, two people on each one. And the point of that is to create a different soundscape, but also to show off our battery members because our battery members are great at what they do, which is rhythm and timing. And so we, we take rhythms and we split them across all these different sounds and it creates a different sound. Yeah, so essentially you're just a six person bass line.
everybody, T2, two bars. One, and two, and one, two, a three, four. I have to make sure I'm following the center at all times and make sure that I am not messing up. Because if I mess up, then the Roomba outside of me is going to probably mess up too. It's a giant train that connects to each other. If one latch goes kablooey, everything's gonna go wrong. Polyrhythm is when you're playing essentially two different rhythms. Take a three and a two, and you put them on top of each other, and it creates this cohesiveness that you you wouldn't have with taking just this rhythm and just this rhythm separately. So you put them together. There's nine, sixteen time signatures, and they're playing sixteenth notes inside of that. And then we've got uh, the marimbas playing five lets at the same time, and we put it all together. And you look at the page, and you're like, what is this? All right, ready, three, two, one. The tar process is very important, mostly because at a show, everything is going a little bit faster in our brains. So we got to make sure we're nailing down the rehearsal version so that when we get to a show, it's nice and easy, it's relaxed, and uh, we're all ready for the show. Keep going a little more if you can. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, we're still going to need more room in the back. Yeah, push the props back, please. Sorry. Tar has to be perfect because we gotta make sure we're at the same position when we're rehearsing. So, same reference points uh, on the wall up there, same reference points for the tarps and all that. And keep going a little bit, stop. All right, stretch. Ready, three, two, one, stretch. Pull back an inch. All right, last time, three, two, one, stretch. I'm about to give donuts to the battery, so that's what I'm thinking about. Nan brought donuts. He brought donuts for the staff and donut holes for us. It was fantastic. Donuts are the reason that we excel as a drumline. <laughs> They're the secret sauce to our success. Along with protecting our knees. We take great pride in protecting our knees at Fishers. Today is state prelims. Um, we're going to Avon, which we've been to Avon a lot, so like we can kind of get the flow. And this is the first time we have our full show out, which is really exciting. So we put it on in like a week, which is, it was a lot, but I feel really ready and I'm really excited to finally have the full thing out. I think the fact that we were able to put it on in a week and have it sound decent, have it sound acceptable was impressive. There's so many layers that you have to be comfortable with that putting it on in a week sometimes doesn't really give you a chance to get super comfortable with it. You just have to trust yourself and assume that you can, you're gonna do the right thing. There it is. The show is really about the contrast between dark and light. So that starts with like our main character. He's at like the lowest point of his life. He's like in the darkness. And we've really been trying to use the tarp to incorporate that. So if movement two and movement three, we stay completely in the black part. We don't hit the white until the very, very end when we finally come out of the darkness.
second semester is always the busiest because you have, especially as seniors, you have college. I have drum corps this summer, and then we have AP exams and finals and a bunch of other schoolwork and everything. Your brain can get very clouded and busy very fast. And sometimes you can use the stresses and the emotions that uh, comes from those things and put it into your show and help you with your performance. But you can't let it distract you or else you're gonna, things are gonna catch you off guard and you're not gonna be the best that you can. I get nervous. I, I'm guessing a lot, a lot of other people get nervous, but um, it'll all go away once you start doing the performance. Okay, that, that has a very feel to it rather than... Okay, so think, think more in terms of that, so you can get that to just broaden a little bit, cool. soften a little bit. Stand by. When Jesse says flowy, he means less tension and not to smack the drum as hard as he can. Flowy, smooth, graceful, loud phrases, you're... Um, Natural instinct will be to hit it as hard as you can. Creates bad sounds. You want pretty sounds. Flowy, broad, powerful, emotional. 37 to 39. Chopper, chopper. Set. We speak drum. Life but a walking shadow. A poor player. Tangled up this my snake. Yikes. Sounds like a you problem. It is a me problem. It's pretty chill right now. Nobody, nobody really seems stressed. Um, I'm pretty sure people are excited for for the show today. They're excited to see where we where we end up after today for state. Show days are very hard to get through. You're just so tired by the time you get to the end of rehearsal. We gotta fold like fast. Oh, we have to fold the tarp. We do have to fold the tarp. All right, ready? Three, two, one. All right, next. There's nothing fast about folding oh. the tarp. We're gonna get people to walk out the creases on the edge over here, and then we're gonna pile it onto this cart right here. Oh, she's not pretty today. Smack that thing. It's just human. <laughs> that is not how you fold a tarp. Every day after we fold, we take turns. We get one hit each. Oh, he broke it! Surely. Drop it in the comments. Watch your, watch your hand though. Oh, it's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough one. Let us know. There we are. I think double competition days with movement and concert world are always a lot. The two shows are pretty polar opposites this year. We're talking about clarity and tension and release in concert world, where we're talking about darkness and shadows and movement. So, very different shows. I have to tape the sticks because uh, nobody taught any of the other bass drummers how to, how to tape. Oh, I'm excited for WGI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There isn't really very much stress, kind of because it's the end of the season and there isn't very much more to do. And you're just, you're in a hotel with all your friends. <laughs> 
there are a few checkpoints throughout the season. The first one is definitely the first competition because that's where we get our first set of feedback from the judges saying, hey, this works, hey, this doesn't, fix this, this needs to be better, this part's great. So we take that first set of feedback comments from the judges at our first competition, we refine it, have a few more performances to make sure we're doing what we need to, change the show if we need to, clean up what's going on on the floor, and then we get to the first ultimate checkpoint, which is state finals, and that's kind of the final feedback that we get before we get to world championships. So from state finals today to world championships, we have about two and a half weeks. And so we'll take what they tell us here. We'll make changes to the show. We'll refine things. We'll make it better. upper battery, especially snares, we go. Everything from the, the roll to there, listening is great, but as soon as we spread the form apart and then we start to grow that six tuplet, we kind of stop listening. So don't stop, listen harder because we're getting further apart. And listen to the person next to you. It's gonna be a quad drummer, it's gonna be a snare drummer, it's gonna be weird, but keep listening. When I'm watching and observing the show, when it's done at a high level and I don't have to think about and analyze what I am gonna say next, it's awesome. I, I can get into the show, I can groove, I can listen. And even when it's not groovy and it's down low and it's nice soft piano, prayer bowl, whatever it may be, marimba roll, I can get into the show. And because the students have such a great ability to just be musicians, it allows us as staff members, and I know me personally, to enjoy the music that they're playing. We started in 2006 with eight percussionists. We have grown to where we are now. The really cool part of that is I've gotten to see a lot of that journey, really half of that journey from 2013 to now, as a student, as an outsider, and then now as an educator in the program. So the only way that we've grown is because Chad Kohler has been here day in and day out, thinking about the program constantly, thinking about what we need to do in order to grow, bringing in the right people, Jesse Backus and Andy Raybergen and all these others to help us grow. But also the other half of that is having great students that come in their first year and they're just ready to go and ready to do whatever it takes to build the program. At shows, I get like extremely nervous. I'm always like stressing before, like standing behind the prop at the top of the show, I'm always so stressed. My everyday mantra is just whatever happens, happens. And if I biff every note in the show, I can't go back in time and fix it. Like, it's just, it's okay, it's fine. Whatever happens will happen, and I can learn from that. There's no reason to get stressed. I think the judges are looking for a mix of cleanliness and performance. If we're thinking about the balance of clarity and performance. Instead of viewing it as something to be scared of, we view it as an opportunity. So we have the opportunity to be clean and show the judges how we can perform. Usually right before we're about to perform at a show, trying to get everything plugged in and getting ready without running out of time is very, very stressful. It can be stressful, but if you just do your job and let everyone else take care of the rest, it won't be as bad of an experience. It is a very good opportunity for you to connect with an individual person in the audience and make them feel something with your show. You have to be very deliberate with what you do and how you do it. In first place, receiving the gold medal with a winning score of 94.25. Your 2023 Indiana Percussion Association Concert World Class State Champion. Congratulations, Fishers Concert World! We 
are waiting for the buses to get here so we can leave. For Dayton, Ohio. We're cleaning uh, the drums, getting ready to go um, rehearse or do our sectionals. We gotta look good. We had our, our last rehearsal, uh, our last run in Indiana, and my last uh, run in Indiana with Fishers ever. Um, so we basically just went through everything, chunked through it, put it all together, and we got on the buses, uh, loaded up the trucks, and um, then we arrived in Dayton last night, went to bed, got a few hours of sleep. Like 5, 5.30 this morning, we all got up, went down and ate breakfast, got dressed, and we were on the road by like 7. Um, we got here, and it was really nice out. The weather is perfect, and we all did lots, and it was very, very efficient, very calm and collected. There were a lot more cameras than I thought there were going to be. It was kind of nerve-wracking, but it was also... And they wanted to kind of show off a little bit. It was nice. No matter what, make your instrument sound great. Be fearless with the gas pedal. Okay? Tons of great energy. Getting off the bus and seeing the arenas. It's, it's pretty surreal. Uh, I've never done this with the drumline before and it's gonna be my first and last time doing it. So it's a whole lot of emotions, but those happen after the show. <laughs> first time for pretty much everyone at Dayton. Um, almost everyone here. Definitely the first time for uh, drumline members being here. We've been here for Concert World, but not Drumline. So we're all just learning right now.
right now we're in the tunnel. Uh, we're about to go on for prelims. A um, little bit of nerves in the air, but we'll be fine. As long as we're a hive mind together, and we connect with each other, then we're gonna put on a show. I don't even know how I would describe how I'm feeling right now. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I don't really have butterflies though. I'm ready to perform, ready to put on a show. Um, just do my job in the ensemble and um, you know, try to get into semifinals and try to get into finals. It becomes especially challenging in this, but you did an incredible job. It's remarkable to see the growth of, of the students, to see the commitment, the passion. It's great to be the first one on and set the tone and set the standard and I just couldn't be more proud of the students. I always tell the students that though on the next day, on Sunday, right, the day after, life resumes back to normal. So it's these moments and markers in life where you have an opportunity to give 100%. And when you give 100%, you can't ask for anything more. Everybody felt like they had a great run. Uh, really great energy coming off the floor, high fives, hugs, it was awesome. Got the floor folded, we helped out Avon go down the tunnel. So that was great. Uh, now we're preparing for the rest of the day, concert prelims tonight. Can we grab all of our stuff, head over to the truck and then stay put. We're gonna, once we're, well, pretty soon here, we're gonna come back and get pictures. Okay, but let's take all stuff over the truck. I think we all agree that no matter what happens, we're proud of that. Like the work that we put in, the the last two weeks after state really showed up today. I thought it was amazing, actually. What do you think, Jack? Okay, I think uh, the best part about uh, the front ensemble in general was the communication. Everybody communicated very well. Yeah, it was very and good. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep moving, why are you chilling? Keep moving. What happened to your shoe? Oh my lord. One, two, three, silly picture. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three. Perfect, thank you. We're gonna head actually in to watch a few groups and then after that we're gonna go rehearse for Concert World. Then we're gonna go compete tonight at Concert World Prelims. It's the, it's the theirs. Okay, Justin, I need to act normal, as normal as possible, because I'm, I'm, I'm not mic'd up right now. Hey guys. You gotta do this. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, you gotta do this. Dot Fishers. Like, I, like, I'm, I'm expecting to walk out with a, with a very high score at prelims. Like. Yourself. Oh yeah, yeah, but the score. Like we found today. We found that. It is subjective. Thirty minutes to talk, and, and you said locked in. Okay. All right. Um, let's go. The end of three. Sha ba 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 Ciao.
make sure we're doing all of our dynamics, really, really matching, really, really going for, really, really matching peripherally the heights, over communicating one more time. Your touch right now is amazing, okay? And I love that you can play so freaking clean outside. What I want to do is, uh, I just want to do one more run. It's not going to take that long, but I uh, just want to say thanks again. Thanks for trusting the product. Shoot for that best performance. Don't overthink. Don't worry. So take a minute, thaw out on your own, and then we'll come back. We'll do one more run. We'll wrap up, and then we'll head in.
Today has been a lot. It's been exhausting. We woke up very, very early and we went, we were the first ones on in Drumline, which was exciting. We felt really good about it and then we went back, we rehearsed and now here we are. We are Concert World prelims and we feel fantastic. It feels like two separate days. Like, like Drumline, that, what is Drumline? That never happened. <laughs> Like, that was so long ago, I can't even think about it now. <laughs> Definitely one of the harder parts of the day would be keep, just keeping on going and just keeping up the energy and the focus. We just finished our prelims run at the Nutter Center. Um, everybody's feeling pretty good. I'm feeling great about it. Um, there were a lot of really, really, really good sounds that we made in there. There were a few things that, that uh, I could hear, but overall, it was a fantastic run. It just connected, and I, it it was it was really good. My favorite moment was in movement two when I looked up hey, and I saw the judges Dr. freaking World. out. I woke up pretty early today, but uh, other than that, I honestly felt like it was a great morning. Um, I honestly felt like the run today went really well, and it was a bit disappointing that we didn't make it into semifinals. But honestly, I do feel like we gave it our all, and overall, I feel like. I got to meet a lot of new people and I got a ton of new experiences and I learned so much that I just kind of feel like, you know, we did the best we could and I'm proud of like this entire ensemble and how far we've come and I think next year's gonna be another great year. We didn't make it to semifinals for movement, but we got to go help with concert, which honestly is really fun because they, they really perform and you can just tell they're in their element and really focused and it's super inspiring. And fans presenting your 2023 WGI Sport of the Arts Scholastic Concert World Class Champions receiving the gold medal with a score of 96.25. 96.25. Fishers High School. Fans, join us in celebrating our 2023 concert class gold medalists. Feeling awesome. You know, it's my first time. It, I'm, I'm really happy that I'm part of this. It's, you know, it's really awesome. I, that's the only word I can use to describe this. It's amazing. It was an incredible, incredible run. Well, the best, I'm never going to forget this day. Truly incredible. Our work definitely paid off. I can't wait for next year. I thought the run was great. Uh, I felt better than I did at prelims. Um, obviously, the score showed that. Um, but overall, I'm feeling really good. Being around all my friends makes it just that much better. Winning with them again is just the best feeling in the world. For the fourth time in a row, we won Concert World Championships, and it is a dream come true for the kids. It's really, really, really cool to see the amount of musicianship and effort and just dedication that they can put in in one season. It's really awesome. Kids are incredible, and they perform their tails off. And I just had the president of Innovative Percussion come up to me who was the arranger for Cavaliers for years. And he said, that was some of the most mature sounds I've ever heard. And it's not about the competition, but it's about creating that sound, creating that legacy, creating that, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm floored, I'm, I'm excited. It's one thing to perform the music that you've been working on all season, but it's another thing to get to see the, the students grow as musicians and as people because it's a lot easier from the outside to see someone grow than it is to see yourself grow. So it's really, really, really cool to see all of the students from left to right, front to back, every single one of them change over the course of the season and become just incredible world champions. It's knowing that everybody has tenuous moments in their life and then there's a moment of clarity at the end. And you heard that out there. When you spend so much time with like these group of people and it's just you're with them you wake up with them and you're like all right let's get this and it's like 5 a.m and you're all like tired and you're all getting on the bus it's just like this kind of energy of we're in this together okay we've got this let's breathe in breathe out 
as our own little group, I think we're very kind to each other and it's a very nourishing environment. Having a real group of friends here in percussion is not something I've had in previous years before joining March Band. It's nice to have friends you can always wave to in the hallway and always talk to. There's nothing else that I would rather do than have the opportunity to share my love of music with other people and bring more people into the world of performing.